Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Are you thinking of getting a new hard shell rooftop tent and you want information on the Top Oak Galaxy 1.0? Well, if you are, you came to the right place. I picked it because it was one of the more affordable options and I've been living in it for the past 50 plus days. I'm gonna go through details on the tent, the different features, specifications, and how I've felt living in it. You'll see the environment change a little bit. That's because I did the original shooting for this video in Death Valley. And as I was going back editing, I realized that I left out some stuff. So you'll see two different versions of me hopping around in here. All right, let's dive in. Let's start outside front to back. So sorry, it's a little hard to see because of my storage box, but it's got four hinges on the front. They are pretty good quality. Not loose, not having any problems with them. Digging, having a T-track. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I've been on the road. Struts have been holding up just fine. It's got these ladder mounts, both on this side, on the other side, opposite. And it's got some more on the back. This ram mount does not come with it, but it's got two latches here. Those ladder mounts again. Sturdy handle. And just so you know, this thing does lock. You've got this key right here. You can lock it, but you can also use your finger to unlock it. I can't get my finger in there to lock it though, just an FYI. One thing I wanna note while I'm on the outside, this is one of the problems I've had. If you notice, it looks kind of different. And that's because it keeps coming unscrewed. I think it might be cross-threaded and then it just worked its way loose. Something to keep in mind. All right, let's get this thing set up. First off, it comes with this nice ladder bag. I don't actually use it. That's why it looks clean still. I just store my ladder in the back of the truck. But I have halted a couple thousand miles. Actually like six or eight thousand. This is a ladder, it's been holding up well. Again, like I said, I keep it in the back of my truck, so it's not gonna be clean. I've been using this thing for 50 days. I'm in Death Valley right now. It's hot and I'm not wearing a real shirt, sorry. Let's get this bad boy opened up. This little bungee strap's been holding up. 50 nights, going strong. There is a metal bar right here. It's in the shape of a U. Okay, you get that pushed all the way out. Then it has these nice little arms that go in these plastic clips here. I thought that maybe I'd break them by now, but they're still going strong. Now there's also a little lever here. You just flip that down. Then this little C channel right here goes right into that bar. If anybody has a fan that has one of these little clips, just an FYI, it works really well. It's clip right up there, and then you can angle it down towards yourself. This thing costs a lot of money. I'm gonna speed through things, but I'm gonna try and take my time enough to show you every little thing that I can think of because it's a pretty big investment. So we're gonna run through them real quick. Sorry about the bad light, but I had to wait till the sun went down. It's just, I mean, it was 109 degrees. So, all right, let's get moving. First up, pockets. You've got two on this side and two on this side. You've also got, well, one, two, three, four windows. So we've got this big window on the side. The ones that my legs are currently dangling out of. Another one here on the side. And then you've got your skylight. Pretty darn nice. Everything's held in with, I don't know, what I call hook and loop. Just these two little dongle things here. And there's another little thing there. That's if you want to take the screen, unzip it. 
can be totally open air with the clear skylight you can even remove this as well there are also hook and loops on both sides there's two of them one here one a little bit farther down for each window and it even has them right here for the back window i never ever use them so it does come with its own led light it has an extremely long cord just killer long all right there it is and here i am walking away from the tent <laughs> oh my god i i don't know how long it is but way longer than i need so you can take this plug it into your power source all right let's go take a peek all right so there it is coming out of my window coolness i can zip up my zipper make sure no bugs get in it still leads out that little blue button that's lit up right there i just push that and voila there's white light i can dim this down if i want or i can brighten it up i can also change colors that is white and amber mixed together kind of like a more natural light there's pure amber works pretty well it will definitely light your tent up something that i don't know i've probably had the most trouble with i know it's super nitpicky like i've got to be nitpicky to give you some cons but this handle like really just annoys me there's no really great place to put it because the straps are right over the sunroof there so they impede my ability to look at the pretty stars and it hangs down and i can kind of toss it there but now it's hanging down there and it makes noise whenever the wind blows if you want to completely remove the top you can this is actually just undo that this comes right off do the same thing on the other side there let's put this sucker away and do the latches. I don't actually climb all the way in the tent. I can do all of this from the ladder. Then put the U-shaped thing down, lay that there, handle up, get my little bungee cord up, snap it in place pull this down get to my handle then i just take these sides and i kind of tuck them in as i'm closing it do it on both sides and really pull things in this is going to be key just make sure that everything along the sides is nice and tucked in as you're bringing it down. If you don't keep your bedding in this thing, you're gonna probably have a much easier time closing it. The dimensions of this tent are 53 inches long by 56 inches wide by 8 inches tall when it's closed of course the dimensions when the tent is open 53 inches tall coming off the manufacturer website it says it'll fit two adults and one small child in my opinion i wouldn't put more than two adults or an adult and a child up there if you got to survive can you fit three people in it yep absolutely if you want a good night's sleep i don't think i'd go more than two the weight on this tent is 176 pounds, although it didn't feel that heavy when I was lifting it into place. It was definitely a two-person lift, though. There are three sets of this T-Track, two sets on bottom, and then one T-Track, and then one t and then one T-Track strip on top. Try saying that five times fast. The top and the bottom are honeycomb aluminum. These struts have done a great job of holding it open. I've never had it close on me in the wind or anything like that. The fabric of the tent is able, able to be removed and replaced if you need to. And it's 
280 GSM ripstop polycotton canvas. That's a mouthful. It has held up extremely well. Zero leaks, zero problems with it. All the seams are taped and the stitch work seems very good. There are two mounting rails and it comes with a ton of different hardware to be able to install it. I've installed it with both the self-locking nuts and I've also installed it using the thumb screws. I didn't think these thumb screws were gonna work that well, but I'll tell you what, I think 5,000 plus miles, they've been holding like a champ. That's corrugated dirt roads, trails, you name it, all sorts of stuff. I also modified this tent and drilled a hole through the bottom honeycomb because I wanted a, an electrical pass-through inside. One big thing is this Galaxy 1.0 does not have any awnings that come out over the windows. If you want something like that from Top Oak, you're gonna have to go with the Galaxy 2.0, which has the window awning covers. On my last tent, I had the window awnings, and quite frankly, it was just more trouble than they were worth to actually install them. So on this tent, I went with the 1.0 to save some money because it was something that I didn't really feel I needed. Also, this comes with two shoe holder bags. I did not bring those with me on this trip, so I can't show them to you, but I mean, they're pretty nice bags. Uh, they hold shoes and they fit right in here into this little track system. And that track system goes all the way around the tent. Now, for some of my experiences. So this tent arrived damaged uh, with shipping damage. I took pictures, I worked with them, um, emailed customer service, let them know about it, sent them the pictures and a copy of my receipt. And then they were very prompt in responding. They offered me, I think it was $150 off. I didn't feel that that was quite adequate for the risk that I was taking um, for accepting a tent that arrived damaged. Uh, I let them know that and I asked them for instructions on shipping it back. Again, they were very prompt and courteous to reply. Um, they offered me a larger discount, which I believe was $550. And I decided that was enough for the risk. And I didn't have to worry about shipping it back and getting a new tent and the wait time and all that good stuff. All right, now, environments that I've tested this in. Obviously the desert, um, well tested in the heat, Death Valley, 109 degree temperatures. I've tested it on the north coast of California um, in heavy fog conditions. I've had it in heavy rainstorms, heavy wind. It has done spectacular in every environment. One environment I did not test it in was snow, and I'm not going to unless I can help it. I'm not a snow camper. Sorry, you have to find somebody else to help you with how it performed in the snow. Let's talk latches. In my opinion, Top Oak needs to up their game in this area. Either the latch design needs to be changed, or they need to switch to red Loctite because the blue Loctite just ain't cutting it in my experience. I've had three pins come loose so far. Granted, like, talking 8,000 miles, hundreds of miles of corrugated roads and you know rough trails and stuff like that. Now I have contacted Top Oak about this to let them know and see if they've got replacement parts that I can get or some new design, um, but I haven't heard back from them at the time of this video. If I do, I'll put it in the comments so you can check it out. And now let's move on to the other thing I don't like about this tent. Oh, Sorry, that's actually it. I don't have anything else to complain about. A couple little nitpicky things here and there, but I'm not even gonna count those. Other than latches, good job, Top Oak. You nailed it. Top Oak did not give me a discount code for this, um, and I don't want you paying any more for it than you have to. The video that I watched was from Will from Venture to Rome. He went through this tent and he compared this tent to the uh, roof nest model, very similar. Um, and that's the video that I used to make a purchase, and he has a code for both Amazon and the Top Oak website. And if you're interested in other no BS reviews and recommendations, check out this playlist here. That's where the rest of my gear stuff is. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. Until next time, enjoy the ride.